this demonstration, we're going to take a look at B-bit carving of this complex pattern. So first of all, I have some pre-created vectors, which I'm just going to drag a box around to select all of them. I'm then going to come over to my 2D toolpaths. And I'm going to select my Create V-bit Carving tool. Now in the carving tool, you have the option to run a roughing tool as well as a carving tool. In this instance, I'm just going to be using a V-bit carving tool. I'm going to select the tool here and scroll down till I come to my V carving tool section in which I'm going to select this 32 millimeter V-bit tool and hit select. I'm making sure my vector association is on selected vectors. I'm going to leave my roughing tool and I'm going to select cal calculate now. So it's quickly run a toolpath between the vectors. Whereas if I switch over to the 3D view and click the cross to close my B-bit carving tool down, we can see exactly the toolpath it has produced and the amount of moves and air moves that have been produced. If I select my V-bit carving and then select the simulation button, it will simulate the toolpath for me using the V-bit carving tool. If I just twiddle slightly while it's going, we can see what has so far been produced. So the toolpath quite quickly will machine a pattern this complex using the V-bit carving tool to give you a very nice effect. Just finishing around the center now. Now we have our finished design with our V-bit pattern cut into it. If we wanted to change the material to view this out of wood, we could do so by selecting the eye up the top here and change our simulation to a wood color and selecting a ply and close. And there we would have a wood effect finished on our model. So this is using the V-bit carving tool to create a finished pattern from vectors.